Brooklyn Independent Television. Some of the most lasting images of the earthquake were of Haiti's children. Brian Vines has an update on a pair of sisters who found a new home in Brooklyn. Every day I come in here, I unfold them. That's why it's a mess right now. I unfold it and look at it and then fold it again and undo it. <laughs> I know it's weird, but it makes it real when I see this. When we met Marsha, she was a woman on the verge. That's what I do all the time. One year later, she still is and couldn't yeah, the be last happier. time we were here, you were folding clothes over again, making yep. beds, just trying to keep yourself sane. So what has that routine been replaced with now? Throwing everything in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll forgive the lapse in housekeeping. The girls are finally here. They settled. They've been here since September 7th. You see, last January, Marsha and her husband, Miguel, were working to bring their girls home from Haiti. An adoption, more than two years in the making, halted by an earthquake. Oh, that's so wet. You got adoption papers, you got home studies that yeah. have been done. And it's a shame that some people are not getting through with the kids because you spent all this money, you have proof that you spent money in. So, I mean, it's unfortunate. I don't know, like, how is it going with other kids, but what if they don't come? They spent all that money on, on just like a hope. Those hopes were realized when Nadia and Lovely took their first airplane ride, 1,500 miles from Petite Guave, Haiti, to their new home in Brooklyn. I like my mom and my dad. Do you like your new house? Yeah, I like my house. You like your house? Yeah. And who is this? My sister. Your sister? What's her name? Lovely. Lovely. What makes you so lovely? What's your name? Lo uh, lovely. The bathroom flushing. <laughs> that's, that's what surprised them, because when they used the bathroom, they said, but it's not going down. Like, what to do to make it go down? Because usually you'll have to take a bucket of water and then pour it so that way it goes down. So now they could just, you know, press a little button and it goes down. That was surprising to them. The girls have settled into their new life adjusting to the climate and the language. If you tell me something in Creole, and I'll tell you what it means in English, okay? How about that? What is that? Car. Oh, wait, uh, machine. Machine, I think it means car then. <laughs> I told you, I'm you very smart. I, I know all the languages. You can't stump me. Every yeah, language, yeah, I know. Yeah, can stump you. Stump me. Well, the thing that has surprised me is basically their English. Yeah. How far, and they, you know, they get the expressions too. You know, yeah. so like in certain countries you can learn the language, right, but, but not the expression. To like get into the language, yeah. but they're picking up on everything. Yeah, they have the New York attitude and, and everything. New York attitude? <laughs> no? <laughs> she said no. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Nadia and Lovely are two of the lucky ones. There are an estimated 750,000 parentless children in Haiti, and since the earthquake, just over a thousand of them have found new families in the U.S. Um, Obama just set up a new law stating that all the people from humanitarian parole can get their green card right away. Well, it's like after all this time, that's a little help right at the end, right? Yeah, because before they would have had to wait two years before doing any paperwork and stuff. So now they could do it right away. And since they'll be full-fledged citizens soon, I better watch my back. I think the older one's after my job. My name is Dania Jones. Me. Back to you, Jenny. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Become a fan on Facebook, like Brooklyn Independent Television. 